The metabolome is influenced by factors such as the genome, environment, and management practices. Understanding the interactions among these factors could allow more accurate prediction and management of a product's yield and quality. By incorporating a third mobile phase rather than the traditional two, this technique allows the separation and detection of a wider range of metabolites. Metabolomics approaches could be applied to any area of biology. Firstly, to achieve a deeper understanding of an organism's biochemistry and help explain the response to abiotic or biotic stress in relation to the physiology. Secondly, to associate biomarkers with the perturbation under study. As isopropyl alcohol is a viscous solvent, it should be introduced at a low flow rate and sufficient equilibration time used before increasing the composition to 98%. These steps will prevent the chromatographic system from overpressuring, returning an error, or potentially damaging the analytical column. To begin preparation of the grains, use a laboratory blender to grind the grain. Run the blender on high speed for 20 seconds and then repeat. Remove the blender jar from the base. Tap the side of the blender jar to bring any coarsely ground grain to the surface of the sample. The coarsely ground grain can be discarded or stored. Transfer the finely ground grain from the blender to a 2 milliliter plastic microcentrifuge tube. On the same day as the extraction, prepare the extraction solvent as described in the manuscript. Next, weigh 200 milligrams.